reality. Peace is based on recognizing reality. Uh, and I think the fact that uh, Jerusalem's capital, Jerusalem is Israel's capital, is clearly evident to all of you who visit Israel, see where the seat of our parliament, our Knesset is, the seat of our, uh, our government, uh, my office, the president's office, the Supreme Court. Jerusalem is Israel's capital. No one can deny it. It doesn't obviate peace. It makes peace possible. But the EU's foreign policy chief, Federica Mogherini, says the bloc will continue to follow international consensus on Jerusalem. We believe... Uh that the only realistic solution to the conflict between Israel and Palestine is based on two states, with Jerusalem as the capital of both the state of Israel and the state of Palestine along the 67 line. This is our consolidated position, and we will uh, continue to respect the international consensus on Jerusalem. Well, Manuel Hassassian is the Palestinian Authority's diplomatic representative to the United Kingdom. I'm pleased to say that he joins us in the studio now. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Thank you. We know that President Abbas is in Cairo. Uh, he's trying to rally the region, speak to Middle East leaders um, against President Trump's decision. What are you expecting to come out of that? Well, I expect that there will be a general consensus internationally because what uh, President Trump has done, he has uh, shot dead, the two-state solution, uh, and I think it is, it's a kiss uh, of death to the process, to the peace process. Uh, there a, a consensus, as you say, but what could it lead to? Um, could there be any action at the UN Security Council, for example, given that the U.S. has a veto? Well, actually, uh, it doesn't matter if the United States has a veto or not. It matters that there is a general consensus by the international community and by the international legitimacy that what President Trump has done is totally against international law, against all the resolutions of the United Nations. This shows that he is, and the United States, is against the international law. It is against the international humanitarian law. He did not really take into consideration the aspirations of the Palestinian people, and he preempted the outcome of the negotiations between Palestinians and Israelis by declaring, you know, the, uh, Jerusalem as the capital of the state of Israel. But what about the Palestinians? If he had the guts, he should have come forward and said, we also, you know, recognize East Jerusalem as the capital for the Palestinians. Then he could present himself as an honest broker of peace. But now, he delegitimized the entire peace process. He delegitimized the brokership, the honest brokership of the United States. I think now the Palestinians and the international community should start looking for a substitute uh, to the United States, you know, in mediating and arbitrating the conflict in the future. What about the volatility across the region? We know that um, some Palestinian factions are calling for a third intifada. What is the Palestinian Authority position on that? Would that be helpful? At well, this actually, time? the Palestinian Authority does not plan intifadas. This is not the way it goes. This is the mere reaction of the people emotionally. They were stirred, they were insulted, you know, by such uh, a statement. So, uh, you know, you cannot control the street, you cannot control the emotions. People are going to demonstrate demonstrate, you know, their own uh, feelings about, you know, what, what's happening. But if there is violence, does that harm the, the cause that are trying to put more pressure on, on President Trump? Well, actually, if there, is, if there is protests all over the world, and we are witnessing protests all over the world now, and, you know, pres President Trump, you know, have ignited, you know, the entire Middle East now. He has plunged violence indirectly because the reaction of people is going to be very violent. And, you know, by, by doing that, I think the United States should expect that there will be diplomatic uh, relationship cut by the international community. Uh, their national interests will be, you know, uh, 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 exposed uh, to certain extremists now. I, I think, you know, uh, this step was not really, uh, there was no calculated risk here. He took a decision without considering the repercussions for okay. that kind of a decision. And that's why the United States should be alerted because the reactions all over the world, di diplomatically and internationally, and we've seen 151 countries in the UN are not on the side of the United States. Well, they cannot continue to become gun ho mentality, you know, and okay. slingers in the Middle East region without, you know, having a general consensus from the international community well, for such a move that okay. was daring and, and, and not, uh, you know, not uh, uh, respected by, by, the, by the people. We'll have to leave it there, but thank you very much indeed You're for welcome. your thoughts there.